is Marvel Contest of Champions news time. It's the 7th of November 2018. Hopefully you're having a lovely day. It's update day, so there's a lot of content going out in the game, but it has been met with a few issues which we're going to address in today's news. Let's roll it. Our first story starts off with the rollout of the new update. Unfortunately, it didn't seem like the most fluid thing that was introduced into the iTunes store, the App Store, as well as the Google Play Store in that some people were finding that they couldn't find the update. I know probably about an hour later than normal, I managed to find the update and it was just, just, just kind of odd. People were getting prompts, they were going to the, the stores and then they were finding that they couldn't access the update. This seems to be rectified now and if you are experiencing any sort of problems, make sure to reboot and, uh, and see if it's there. Turning off and turning on back on the device should then sort this out. But this has been pretty widespread with people really complaining about this. Now the question burning on everybody's lips is, are you going to be selling the Summon Symbioid? Yes, we've come to the point where poor little Steve, or little Brian as I called him in the beginning, is now going to be sold. So if you ranked him up to a certain type and should have the in-game message to say that, you will get something back for your troubles for selling him. But it's like it's nice to see a lot of people still want to see that symbiote uh, in in some kind of capacity in the game. People have asked for that to be still kept done. Unfortunately, he has been dramatically nerfed. And uh, yeah, I don't want to kind of bring up any stories, but there may be someone that I know that may have taken him into a Map Five Alliance quest. And again, I'm not going to name that person, but if you're watching, you know who you are. Uh, brought him in with a. A 99 hero rating, so well done for that. Uh, you played yourself, but I think you had a, a bit of fun at your own expense. And the affection does continue with players really responding to the little symbiote, little Steve being added in as a, as a permanent feature. But it has obviously got the response of Kabam, who basically do kind of say, look, it should be sold. Don't keep it. He will technically run away. So, yeah, unfortunately... If you want 100k gold, if you've got him to rank 5, and you want a little title, then make sure you sell him, okay? Uh, I'm sad, I've got to let him go. Um, we did the goodbye video yesterday. If you watched that, then watch it again. It's, it, it was a fun-ish video, and yeah, sad to see him go, but it has to go. And you need those that gold. We've got rank-ups to do. Next up, and the complaints have been running in thick and fast against Aegon in Uncollected. Now, I've just released a video about my experiences with Aegon as well as other boss fights for Uncollected. And I found with Aegon, and it's like, it just use some champion like Archangel. Uh, some people have said that they found great usage with Void. Now, it's up to you what you use, but like, like I said, I found real usage with class advantage as well as using neurotoxins, poisons, bleeds. With that, and yeah, okay, he's got the, the kind of the heavy regeneration that comes from the nodes that he's got, but it seemed to work out well with Archangel, so that's what everyone is using. That's everybody's what everybody's telling me, and that's what I'm sharing out information-wise. But the shitstorm did come thick and fast, but it's good to see the community, and this is the best thing about the community, as they help one another out. If you've got a bit of information, you find that something works well out for you, and you want to share that, then people are doing that and sharing the same information. And it is fantastic to see. And that is why Marvel Contest Champions community is one of the best gaming communities that I've ever known or been a part of. So props to everybody on giving each other advice. With Primer even noting something that I mentioned in the video, if you have a problem with doing the particular Aegon run, then come out, you know, quit it, then come back in again because you're going to be wasting more revives as he stacks up with those combos. It's it's going to be a real bad situation. So, yeah, always go back into it. Yeah, okay, it may kind of like bore you. You'll be really annoyed. But the fact is, your spend is going to be a lot less if you then reboot back into it again. Next up, and we've got an issue with iPhone X. It's based on where the screens overlap and where something is but isn't. And that is with the UI information and it needs to go over a little bit more because it's really unpleasant. This is something Kabam have been made aware of and are looking into. But the extent has gone a little bit further in that we've got issues with the way that the special bars are in kind of placement. As you can see the difference is they're a lot higher than normal where they should be a lot lower. A bit frustrating. Hopefully Kabam can get this sorted sharpish because... It is annoying when you get a new device that certain things like certain games don't run effectively with it, especially when it comes to a new update. 
So it's only been fairly fresh that it's been put in, but it looks like the profile pics are bugged. I haven't yet found one that I want to use yet, and I probably will come to that point. But it looks like as soon as you set one, that other images on other people's changing them seems, seems to be the same as yours. So as it's displayed here, the entire alliance of this person has the same kind of Scarlet Witch profile pic, which you know is annoying. You want to see each individual's profile pic as you go down. Same thing, some things are question marks, some things have not. As people change their profile pic, it's like, well, this is a bit crazy, what is going on? Kabam, do notice uh, this and they're gonna be acting on it. Hopefully we can see our profile pics and our friends and neighbors and alliance mates profile pics in the correct way as they should be displayed. Next up, we've got back issues or an issue with back issues, which is quite frustrating, especially when you consider this is meant to be new content or older content revamped. So should it, the details and kind of the build of it should be already in some sort of game files? I don't know, I don't work for Kabam. But you kind of think that that should be shipped correctly to the point of the update. Unfortunately, it seems that there's been uh, an issue with that and back issues can be issued instead it's stuck with issues. Yeah, it's 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 quite it's quite annoying. I, I don't know whether or not this is something that even by putting it out later part of that next of this month, does this mean that it delays the progress and you grinding through it? Is it a very kind of like open and shut case as soon as you got it open, you've done it. Is it a one day thing? Is it more of a, it's gonna take several days? Have we lost opportunity on extra rewards? We just don't know. It just looks like with the challenge and other things gonna be shipped, it's gonna be a very busy last end of the month. But in some ways it's quite nice not having having something extra to that. Obviously we had a cult labs the other, other month, but um, yeah, it's nice to have a little bit of a, a breather and a break so people can really go into this month's event with not having to then focus on doing other things, especially with having seasons on at the moment and Alliance Quest. It's it's like a big day for loads of things going on in the, in the game. So it's nice to have a breather from one aspect of content. And on to our final story. And the champion is going into the arena. The champion as a five star, I think we're probably looking at really high stuff around about 60 mil, maybe even more, but I don't know. It, it's, a, it's a very difficult one to predict because he's got hype doesn't have ridiculous hype, but he has New York Comic Con based hype. Does this then catapult him up to higher than that? Or is it gonna be like a kind of a mediocre 58 mil? I don't know, but I, I think this is gonna be pushed a lot higher than it is and overhyped. Good champion, looks like it's got a lot of decent abilities to him. And if anything, by the spotlight, yeah, okay, it's gonna be pretty strong. The four star version, I think would probably go for a very strong 14.5 mil but expect that to go to anything close to about 14.6 or 7 mil. And then we've got Winter Soldier as the four star basic, and this is gonna be a very easy 1.6 mil to get. So that's been your Marvel Contest of Champions news for the 7th of November, 2018. It's pretty late here at the moment. I think I've just finished recording this video and it'll probably be out close to midnight in the UK. Yes, burning the candle at both ends. I should really get to sleep. But in any case, I thought it was important to get the news out, especially because I wanted to do a boss fights video and go and check that out because that has just recently been released as well. If you enjoyed the news today, hit the like button and subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions content and further Marvel Contest of Champions news. I've been Rich the Man and I shall catch you in the next video. Bye-bye for now.